Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny how the anime community is so quiet about it? And it's not the first time, by the way. Oh, it's not the first time at all. They're always quiet about it. Like, apart from me, who covers this every single time something like this happens, every single time since the beginning, I mean, there aren't really many that cover it. Not at all. Not many. All you got to do is Google it, YouTube it, you know, anime racism in particular, or racism in the anime community in particular. But yeah, it's very typical. Crunchyroll, Anime News Network, all these popular anime YouTubers for the most part, or even YouTubers who aren't even considered popular on news sites. Like it's the same thing. So Subaru Kimura basically did blackface, as you can see right now with the image. You know, he deleted his post on Instagram and all that's resurfaced because the internet is undefeated. When you post something, people take screenshots and yeah, you can't get away from it, which he tried to. You know, he's mocking African tribes, all that kind of stuff in the blackface images and, or I should say, um, in the Instagram images and then in a separate image, he was doing a blackface, basically. So he was mocking not just black people, but African tribes in particular, everybody not even everybody, but a lot of people on Twitter. Some people are talking about it, but nobody with a platform has covered it. And it'll likely remain that way. And here's why. It's because it doesn't affect them. That's why they don't, That's why they're not doing it. You see, most of the anime fans, at least outside of Asia, are white, obviously. White Americans. I mean, it's white Americans most of where the problem, where the problem lies, but white Americans, white British, you know, the Europeans and Australians. And then the next segment, as far as platforms, would be Asians. And I'm talking about outside of Asia in particular. And then after that, it's really, you know, black YouTubers, which there are not many, podcasters, which there are not many, and obviously bloggers, website owners, businesses. There's not, and then that, that's pretty much how it breaks down. And then Anytime something happens specifically to, you know, a black person or the racism is towards them in the anime community in particular, none of these other groups say anything. Usually. Just look it up. It's out there. This is not hyperbole. This is not an opinion. Look it up. It's all out there. But then when it came to, when it comes to Asians in particular, watch how fast all these companies, Funimation, all those kind of companies, watch how fast they'll run to Twitter and be like, oh, we're for the anime community, you know, stop Asian hate, all that kind of stuff. In fact, that actually happened. You can look that up on Twitter too. But then when it comes to the Japanese, which is a minority, which is a minority case, I mean, I won't lie about it, a minority of cases where this kind of thing happens, like with the Subaru Kimura thing. When it comes to that though, how come none of them are tweeting, none of them are saying anything? How come there's no news coverage? How come there's no videos? There's no tweets, there's no Facebook posts, there's no, how come there's no grandstanding like they, like they do with other people, basically, other groups. Isn't that interesting? But that's the anime community in general. Like a lot of these fans or weebs, um, basically worship Japan to such an extent that they, th they feel like they can't do any wrong. And when they do wrong, they deflect and pretend like they're not doing any wrong and defend it. And that's what's going on right now with this Subaru Kimura stuff. And it really just tells you what kind of people are actually in the community and in the industry as well. It tells you everything you need to know based on how quiet people are when it comes to certain issues and how loud people are when it comes to other issues or how loud they are when it comes to, we'll say, hype. Hype would be an example of the uzaki Jan controversy. How many of these YouTubers were so quick to cover that, you know? Everybody was hyping over that Uzaki Chan. And I'm, I'm not going to act like I didn't cover it. Of course I did. I covered it too. But I'm making a point. When it comes to actual issues, silence. What does that really tell you about the anime community and the anime industry? At least outside of Asia. I mean, I don't really know what the situation is in Japan. I don't know if any of them even know what happened in regards to Subaru Kimura, the blackface, the racism, whatever. I can only speak for the West and other countries that I can see visibly on the internet dismissing what's happening. And from what I can see and from what I've seen over the years, people just don't give a F. It's that simple. Until the shoe is on the other foot. Hence the deflections. 
Hence, you know, gaslighting. At least every few months, there's always some racism. Like at least every few months, literally. Just a few months ago, I covered a thing about a black artist who was getting, you know, a lot of racism. She was getting a lot of racist comments. See, that was just a few months ago. And before that, there was something else. And that's because the major platforms, or at least the biggest platforms, don't talk about it. That's why it's allowed to keep going on. And that's also why I'm going to keep pushing on it, keep talking about it like I've always have, you know, over the years. And something's got to be done about it. So if you're with it, you're with it. If you're not, you're against it. And you will be called out if you're against it, especially if you make it public. And you will be dealt with, as you should be, because this kind of shit can't be tolerated. If I did this same shit and I was being racist towards Asians, for example, Japanese, for example, oh, you'd be holding me accountable too. You'd be calling me all kinds of stuff. You'd be saying all kinds of things on Twitter, all kinds of things on YouTube, all kinds of things on the internet without hesitation. So you know it's gonna, you know I'm going to do it when it's the other way around. There's no hypocrisy here. It's a two-way street. You can't use all these deflection tactics. The Subaru Kimura blackface stuff it ain't right. It needs to be called out, and that's just the way it is, and that's the way it's going to be. And that's the way it has to be.